The 2020 Megavolts Augusta Rush 1000 MV Augusta built the Rush 1000 with a single purpose in mind, drag strip domination. The factory took its 200-plus horsepower Brutal engine and mounted it in a bike that, in true dragster tradition, carries only what is needed to function. No weight is wasted on superfluous equipment or body panels to convert as many of those ponies as possible into brute acceleration. Those weight savings measures extend to the engine and include the use of titanium to reduce the reciprocating mass of the mill and deliver faster revs. The electronics suite is all about that dragtastic life to deliver the safety and control you'll need to manage the power and keep the thing rubber side down. 2020 Megavolts Augusta Rush 1000 Design It's all about brute power and coming out of the hole like a scalded dog. The single-mindedness of the Rush 1000 build is apparent at a glance, from the super-aggressive stance and all-up-front proportions to the fat, lenticular rear wheel and barely their tail section, a fork-foot mount fender leads the way and is cut down to almost vestigial proportions to save weight. Foil-shaped uprights support the sheet metal and double as wind shunts that steer air around the inner fork tubes and into laminar flow with the brief radiator cowling for low drag penetration. A round Cyclops headlight housing makes something of a classic connection to the old-school stoplight burners, but the outer shape and compact design are the end of anything resembling an antique. Under the round faceplate, a series of emitters shape the forward lighting for effective vision at night and come ringed about with a full-circle DRL feature that makes you more visible to the traffic ahead under brighter ambient light conditions. Up at the top of the forks, a pair of clip-on short handlebars are dead short and pull you forward into an aggressive position over the prominent fuel tank hump. The 4.32-gallon fuel tank carries a sporty flange along the top to form the knee pockets with a narrow waist that is more about comfort than cornering since this machine is built more for straight-line acceleration. All of the instrumentation is bundled in the 5-inch color TFT screen, and all of the variable ride quality and safety systems are manipulated by same. If you're into sharing the fun with a friend, you will be glad to know that the Rush 1000 comes with a P-pad cover for those times when you are solo and want that stripped for racing look. The saddle rides at 33.27 inches high, so if you're a shorter rider, you can expect to be going on your toe tips more often than not. A round tail light and recessed rear turn signals ensure you remain visible from the rear, and back up front, the lighting is wrapped up with short, standoff-style front blinkers. They lay just inside the line between the sides of the radiator shroud and the handlebars, and as long as said shroud doesn't fold up, the blinkers should survive a drop in the parking lot. Most of the innards are well visible, but generous blackout treatment lends its homogenizing nature to the mix and the eye is drawn to the red and bronze trim and bits of bling in the forks and exhaust system. 2020 Megavolts Augusta Rush 1000 Chassis Welded chrome molybdenum tubing makes up the abbreviated trellis frame on the Rush 1000 and the engine is used as a stressed member to complete the structure and displace the downtube and cradle sections of the skeleton. The single side swingarm and swingarm pivot plates are made of cast aluminum. Since the plates are adjustable, you can adjust the height of the pivot to shape the rear suspension triangle to suit. Rake figures are being kept close to the vest, but trail measures in 3.82 inches to put it well within the nimble range so you can take corners with it in spite of its drag racing bent. A set of 17-inch wheels round out the rolling chassis with aluminum alloy spokes and a 120-70th hoop up front opposite a forged aluminum wheel, carbon fiber cover and drag-tastic 255ths out back. In keeping with its racing capabilities, the Rush 1000's tires roll with a Z rating that can take whatever you and the machine can dish out. At the steering head there's an Olin steering damper that will take the edge off the kickback that can occur when the front tire comes back down from a moonshot. It sports both manual and automatic electronic variable damping control, but that's just the start of the wizardry in the suspension equipment. Olin's provides the support at both ends as well with inverted forks up front, a monoshock out back and the full trinity of adjustments in both. Compression damping and rebound damping tweaks are handled electronically, but the spring preload is manually adjusted across the board. Oh well, two out of three ain't bad according to Meatloaf. The brake hardware comes from Brembo with dual 320mm discs and four piston calipers to slow the front wheel for the bulk of the braking power, and a 220mm disc and twin pop binder to control the rear. 
ABS protection comes from the Bosch 9 Plus anti-lock system that delivers a race mode along with a rear wheel lift-up mitigation feature that keeps the rear end down under heavy braking actions to bolster the safety electronics yet again. 2020 MV Agusta Rush 1000 Drivetrain MV Agusta borrowed the liter size powerplant for the Rush 1000 from its own Brutal 1000RR Superbike. It drew inspiration from the world of Formula One engineering in the form of a reimagined combustion chamber. Light but strong titanium connecting rods reduce the reciprocating mass which reduces the stress on the bottom end and contributes to quick spool up times while it also raises the safe rev limit. How high? Well, the horsepower tops out at 13,600 revolutions per minute with a total of 208 ponies on tap and 85.9 pound-feet of torque that comes on fully at 11 grand. Since the Rush 1000 weighs in at only 410 pounds drive, the power this four-cylinder mill puts to the pavement is sufficient to launch it like a rocket down the strip or up to the next light. It runs an oversquare layout with a 79mm bore and 50.9mm stroke for a total displacement of 998cc and a 13.4 to 1 compression ratio with a 16 valve head. Dual overhead cams time a quartet of poppets per combustion chamber, and induction control is managed by one Makuni injector and one Magneti Marelli injector per cylinder. An Eldor EM 2.10 engine control takes care of business and delivers a handful of safety features such as a 4-map torque control, 8-map traction control, and anti-wheelie system. The 6-speed transmission comes stock with the electronically assisted quickshifter that lets you work your way both up and down the range without ever touching the clutch or rolling off the throttle for blistering acceleration. A slip and assist clutch couples engine power to the gearbox and adds another layer of safety to the mix. The overall top speed is an impressive 186 miles per hour, 300 kilometers per hour, at redline in top gear, which is impressive, but it's the speed with which it can achieve top speed that is really remarkable. 2020 megavolts Augusta Rush 1000 pricing. It remains unclear as to whether the Rush 1000 will make it to our side of the pond, but our European brothers and sisters can score one for 33,990 euros. The only available color package is blackout under dark metallic matte gray with red matte carbon and metallic bronze trim. 2020 Megavolts Augusta Rush 1000 Competitors It's hard to beat Italian engineering and sense of passion, so rather that try, I decided to go straight to another mark from Europe's boot, Ducati, and its Monster 1200R. Ducati Monster 1200R like the Rush 1000, the monster carries itself with minimal paneling to land firmly in naked territory though it's more of a turn and burn bike against the straight line acceleration for which the Rush is built. They share a heavily bobbed front fender and minimal headlight housing though the monster pushes a small flyscreen and has a short rise handlebar so you have a little room to push off and give your arms a break. Generous blackout treatment is another similarity, but Ducati shuns the understated look of the rush with Ducati red paint on its exposed trellis frame for a nice contrast. The narrow build of Ducati's Testistretta L-twin engine allows for a skinny bike that bulks up only at the flanged fuel tank hump. Electronics are awash with the same array across the board, abs, riding modes, power modes, and traction control, but the monster falls behind in the brute power category. Significantly, in fact, Ducati's twin claims a total of 1,198.4 cc against the Rush's 998 cc 4 banger to give the monster 152 horsepower and 92 pounds of torque against MV Agusta's 285.9 output. U.S. price on the Monster 1200R is $19,395, and that's definitely more affordable than the Rush 1000. Read our full review of the Ducati Monster 1200R. He said. Am I the only one hearing a Batman theme song in my head when I look at this bike? What a crazy looking ride, a definite head turner, and definitely not for someone who is not looking to draw attention to yourself. I'd allow myself to be seen riding it, that's for sure, though like most of us, I'd never do it justice on or off the track. She said. My wife and fellow motorcycle rider, Alan Hinton, says, I think the Rush 1000 looks like nothing else out there. This really is a step up from the Brutal line. Everything about it is innovative and artistic. 
I know the emphasis is on straight line drag racing, but this bike gives a thrill on twisty roads, too. The CNC machined aluminum, carbon fiber, and titanium components leave no doubt about the exclusivity of the Rush 1000. 2020 megavolts Augusta Rush 1000 specifications. If you liked this video, please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.